Hey guys and welcome to Highlights of GKT's first game of the season against arch rivals Rums. So this was the first game of the United Hospitals Cup, a competition comprising of the four medical schools around London. As holders, we were looking to defend our trophy and secure back-to-back -back titles, reaffirming our place as the best hospital side in the capital and the country. Our team today was arguably as strong as it was all year, with Sid Raj and Kabir opening the batting for us. Unfortunately, we missed an important highlight as Sid was run out in the second over, uh, probably distracted by the Rums VC Vinosh chatting about his bunda. However, as you saw, Vinosh was made to eat his words soon after dropping Kabir at first slip, which proved to be costly. So this was our first time using the pitch vision equipment, therefore missing highlights and technical errors may be frequent today. But as Rajan joined Kabir in the middle, technical errors on the field were limited as the pair launched a counter-attack against a really strong Rums seam bowling side, led by Captain Alec Bassi bowling from this near end. Adit and Rajan have a little bit of history, with the former dismissing his opposite number in the 2019 UH final on the way to Rums' first ever UH Cup win, and he was certainly getting the ball to talk early doors. However, Rajan was up to the task and targeted a short leg side boundary to keep up a high scoring rate. This was to be the first of a number of strong partnerships over the course of the season between Rajan and Kabir. Both have played a high level of rep cricket with Rajan captaining the likes of Sam Karan and Oli Pope for Surrey, whilst Kabir has captained the Hong Kong under-19 side competing in an Asia Cup against the likes of Nassim Shah. and the class of the two batsmen early doors was on full show, as Rums struggled to stem the flow of runs. Though Kabir was handed another life following a poor drop catch at mid-on, perhaps a sign of early season rustiness from the run skipper. There has always been a great deal of banter between GKT and Rums, always a lot of chat on the field and a great deal of rivalry between the two strongest sides in UH at the moment. It's the game at GKC that we look forward to the most during the season, knowing that we will have to perform at our best to take a victory, and it always fires us up and brings out the best in the side. We'd pay them twice more in the season ahead, with one particularly crucial fixture later on in the season. The UH Cup comprises of four group games against all the medical schools in London before the top two teams go forward to a final. Therefore, with the UH Cup, therefore with just four games rather to secure a place, losing the first puts you under huge pressure to make it to the final, almost knowing two losses more or less confirms elimination. A lot riding on the first four games of the season then, and Rajan Kabir certainly seemed up to the star, striking at an alarming rate, making full use of the first ten over power play. But when the scorecard's up, which is great, as you can just see how easy the two batsmen are currently making cricket look. Rums were on their first change bowlers Ardo Ali and Sam Ray, both extremely talented bowlers which played, um, Ardo especially, playing for UH later on in the season and bowling some crucial spells but he struggled to find his length early on in the season just bowling too short and Rajan really capitalising on those short deliveries. Rajan passed 50 of just 37 deliveries and it was a great innings to really kickstart the GKT season especially following an early run out. And though Samway was making Kabir struggle, taking the edge, there were just no slips in play because GKT had put Rums under so much pressure. And it meant that GKT were able to play with a little more risk, um, knowing that knowing that there was no one behind the wicket. Kabir soon found a stride, however, and started to make batting look a lot easier, playing, playing off his legs well and playing through cover well and Rums had to turn to spin in the 16th over. Duraj, exceptionally talented leg spinner, one of the nicest guys going in the UH competition, always smiling, um, and an absolutely great guy, an exceptionally um, talented leg spinner, but just really struggled to find his length um, in, his, in this first over. And Rajan really put him under pressure and made him pay, finding the boundary four times in the over.
and this put Rums under absolutely huge pressure having to turn to part-time spinner Orion at the far end. Kabir rode his luck against Aryan as a hack fell just short of mid off, and this was followed by an absolute mouthful from Aryan, apparently former Lancashire two star, telling Kabir it was the worst 50 he had ever seen. A little harsh considering Kabir was striking at 90 in a languid style which would make him batting look easy, and though not chanceless, you'd forgive him being first game of the season, but I guess you can't please everyone. Kabir passed 50 but Aryan had the last laugh with the ball offering a lot of turn and, and Rajan soon fell after thanks to an absolute speech of a ball from Aryan and suddenly two new batsmen were at the crease uh, and, and they offered hope to our rivals Rums. However Rums felt the pitch was a road and never failed to mention that when we were batting and, and we had seen the turn Aryan and Diraj had gotten out of the surface and knew it would come to play um, for our talented spinners in the second innings and, and we really knew that it, it, it wasn't a road, uh, far from it. Sain and Amun joined each other at the crease, a formidable middle order pair who both bat positively and loved to keep the scoreboard ticking and a partnership of 70 following Kabir and Rajan's partnership of 160 was vital to maintain momentum of the GKT innings. Both found the boundary at ease with Zayn showing his best form with the bat since his debut season in 2018 whilst Amman displayed great technical ability to rotate the strike and manipulate the field on a pitch that was really turning square. Vinosh Rums VC came on to bowl his Mido stroke off spinners, uh, which Zayn laid into uh, the near end and the pair continued to push the score along with GKT really eyeing up 350 off their 50 overs. Ahmed fell caught behind following a really really strong partnership between the pair but Zane pushed on as he pressed on the accelerator. Zane passed 50 in the process before he was run out well by the Rums captain for a runnable half century. And the finisher Abdullah Khawaja came in to join all rounder, entrepreneur, and Rajan lookalike Tane Kolkani. And although Tane fell, uh, miss hitting a full toss down deep square leg's throat, Abdullah and the J Ram Chandani, uh, our leg spinner, really talented leg spinner, who's taken 75 wickets for the club in just four years, ran hard. and found the boundary regularly to ensure the score passed 300. Both were removed by Sam Ray um, just when Abs eyed a maiden UH50, uh, but fast bowlers Shamar Vias and uh, Hamza Alam took the total to a mammoth 339, GKT's highest ever score in a UH game and all the more sweeter to do it against our rivals runs. However, knowing that Rums had a strong batting lineup, particularly with the addition of Fresher Ari and GKT knew that they would have to perform well with the ball and back it up in the field. And boy did we start well, Ari and splicing a pull shot off the bowling of Risby and an outstanding performance of athleticism from Shamal to run in from mid on and dive low to take a great catch 
and an early wicket for GKC. And that wicket really summarises GKC up, what we worked so hard for in the winter and were able to execute when it matters in the summer. Dinosh, Rums vice captain, played some really nice shots um, to steady the ship. Four Rums, a really nice drive down the ground off the bowling of Rizvi. And in all fairness, our experienced openers Zane Rizvi and Shramalvius note that they could have bowled a lot better spells in the first game of the season. However, well, first change bowlers Ansh Radio and Hamza Alam really changed the game, bowling with great control as Ansh took the edge of Shwetab um, for just 14, taking up a lot of deliveries to get that 14. Well, Hamza Alam came on uh, from the other end and applied just as much pressure, getting the in batsman Vinosh caught behind. Really good bowling, um, really good catch rather from Amin on the under edge. And then just two balls later, the nicest man in the world, Diraj Patel, was bowled um, off an inside edge um, off Hamza to have two in the over. Um, and a great start to the year for Hamza, who struggled with wickets um, last year, um, despite bowling really economically. It was great. Um, and it was a great showing for him to take two wickets um, in his second over. Tane came on to replace Ansh from the far end and Tane is known for almost bowling like Ravi Jadeja, giving away absolutely nothing, getting through his over in under, 30 se in under 60 seconds. And he came on and bowled in great partnership alongside Ham first Hamza, um, looking to take wickets at this end, and then Jay Ram Chandani, who is our prime wicket taker. As a leg spinner, Jay is obviously prone to bowling the occasional bad ball and Adit Bassi did put it away. However, he fell probably next over, even though we didn't get it recorded. Um, Tane caught really well um, at long on by Kabir. And then Jay just continued to put pressure, especially on Devanch, who was trying to work it into a massive gap of wind wicket, probably not a percentage shot. Um, as Jay bowled a really slow one and Rajan caught it well at slip. So by this point, the game was done for runs. Um, and GKT were just trying to close the game out, um, looking to work on their net run rate um, just in case they did lose a game and that would come into it. And Jay continued to take wickets, Ansh came on back from the far end um, to apply pressure and Ardo Ali, um, slightly hampered by a hamstring injury, um, was dismissed. And it left GKT needing just one wicket to secure victory and even though it wasn't recorded, um, it was an absolutely superb performance from GKT in their first game of the season. Smashing runs by 180 runs was an awesome performance, really laid a marker for the rest of the competition and bode well for the rest of the season. Stay tuned and see who GKT come up in the next game of the season. And just leave comments in below who you thought the man of the match was, what you think about this YouTube channel and what you think we can add going forward. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you all next time.